Okay, so my career is a little long, so it goes into three acts. So my first act, uh, couldn't afford college <laughs> to go back to college. So having lunch with my friend and her boss came in and said, um, you know, what's the problem? I said, I need a job. And my brother had gone to Northeastern before me, and he had a leg up because he had a co-op, by the way. So I think that that's a fabulous program. And he said, well, what's your major? I said, I'm at Boston College, and I'm a science major. And he said, well, I need somebody in my lab. So I started in the lab, went to Boston College, back to there, and said, I need to go nights. But they only had a business degree. So I switched from science to business, and then Honeywell. So I would test baths have an hour break, study. Test bath, have an hour break, and it would win all day. So I could take a full course load. And I, so I graduated from BC with a business degree, and Honeywell put me in an engineering apprentice program. So that's how I started my career. And then I just kept going from company. I stayed about five years, which at the time, people were still staying at their companies a really long time. And went there, went to a new company called Computer Vision, uh, then went to Sun Microsystems, then went to Stratus. And each one, I tried to do three or four jobs while I was there, and then move on. Three or four jobs, and then move on. And I kept moving up. So that's act one. Then my boss at Stratus said, why don't you go do a startup? But if you're going to do a startup, you're not going to get funded here. It's not, you're not in that group. This is the early 90s. You need to leave Massachusetts and be successful and come back in. And at first I was offended, but he was correct. So I left, I did a startup called Visual Networks, came home, it was IPO'd, did quite well, came home because my parents were ill, took care of my parents and then found a company called Natiza. And Natiza I started, I was there for a long time, IBM acquired us, and then I got my doctorate in work-based learning and said I wanted to move on to education. So I left IBM a year ago, March, started at MIT in May, and I run the Global Founder Skill Accelerator, which for entrepreneurs, I teach, and I'm also the Assistant Managing Director. So I've kept all three of my options for my next act open. So. <laughs>